Hello, how's everybody doing today? Uh, so uh, we had a, uh, I mean, we didn't have a, quite a request, but we were gonna work on the animal just as a fun uh, oil painting, just as an exercise, not as an assignment. Uh, and one of my students is actually working on his cousin's pet. So, um, uh, so he actually has a pretty good reference of a beagle. You guys will see the beagle attached to the uh, to the actual uh, video once it's loaded. Uh, but right now we're just gonna mostly talk about the process of working this little guy, okay? So the beagle, uh, he's mostly gray or white uh, and orange or brown, whichever, you know, whatever you wanna talk, like desaturated or saturated colors, all right? So if you guys are doing your own pets, if you guys are doing, you know, um, uh, not the beagle that's on the internet, you guys wanna make sure that you guys pick a color that works with you, for example, if you're working a black or a white dog, you probably want to use like a gray or a bluish gray. If you guys are working uh, a brown dog, maybe the burn umber as a base or even a burn sienna. If you guys are working a really light dog, maybe even like a yellow ochre might work fine. Okay, but um, what we're going to do right now is I have my mineral spirit right here. This little big canister right here, that's the mineral spirit. Uh, make sure you guys don't use linseed oil because if you guys use linseed oil, I mean, it's okay to some extent, but you guys cannot paint till like a week from now, okay? If you guys wanna paint tomorrow or the day after tomorrow, just make sure you guys use mineral spirits. All right, so if you guys were starting at home and your drawings are, you know, not so confident, I would still sketch this little guy in. I, I'm pretty comfortable with a little beagle, so I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna start painting them in. And the only thing I'm gonna do with my picture, if something is white or gray, I'm gonna use a cooler color. If something is warmer or a little bit more brown, I'm gonna use a warmer color, which the cool color is gonna be the French ultramarine blue and the warmer color is gonna be the burnt sienna, okay? So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna pick up my palette. So like if this is my two colors, burnt sienna and French ultramarine blue, I'm just gonna make a mishmash of both of them, okay? So what that mishmash is gonna give me, it's gonna give me a warm, and it's gonna give me a middle, and it's gonna give me a cold as well. All right. So I don't know if you guys get to see that color variation from cooler, which is more blue, to warmer as we get to the burnt sienna, okay? So basically what I'm gonna start off with, I'm gonna start off with my brightest color. So I am gonna start off with my more sienna color. I wanna make sure that my paint is super drippy so it has a ton of mineral spirits, not a little bit, okay? It actually has a lot. If I want to let this thing dry very fast, I need a lot of mineral spirits, all right? So this first color is gonna be the one that's gently on the warm side, all right? All right. Here we go. And this is not perfect in any means, okay? Like I don't even have a perfect color. I don't have a perfect anything at this point. I just have big color. And again, if you guys are having trouble with the drawing of your pet, make sure you guys do a okay drawing before with charcoal preferably, but if not, really light graphite will work. Try to do a really nice drawing uh, before you guys even get started, okay? So I have my head here, <laughs> all right? So this is already the beagle's head, uh, including the ear here, all right? And I'm having fun. Remember, I'm mostly just, uh, just trying to figure out the bigger uh, basic shapes here of this little guy. The big basic shapes, never detail, remember, you guys will always hear, hear me nagging about don't do detail, don't do detail, don't do detail. And this little guy is not the exception, okay? If you guys already had the drawing, you would be applying the brown where you would see the warm colors. And you'd be applying the cools where you see the, the whites and the gray. So there's not a lot of warm, so I'm already gonna start migrating into my cool colors. And there's only two colors. There's French Ultramarine and Burnt Sienna. 
So if we need something to be cooler, we just need to make sure that we make it on the French Ultramarine. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna exaggerate my chroma here. So if the color looks very gray, but there is a, the smallest amount of blue, I'm gonna add a little bit more blue, okay? I don't want my colors to be too boring right now. So basically, uh, having a higher chroma means just having uh, more color, all right? That's, that's all it means. So if something looks gray, I'm not gonna make it gray, 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 gray. I'm gonna make it a cooler gray, okay? So here we go. So this is my next color, which is my French ultramarine color right here. So if you guys see that a little extra blue, so that means that the that it's, it has a little heavier color saturation. So my ears kind of melting into my my body, and that's perfectly fine, by the way. That is not an issue at all. Basically, the mineral spirit is just dripping. And this is abstract. What I'm doing right now, it's really fun. <clears throat> it's not, like I said, really rendered work. There's some reflected light, even though this area is gray, there's a little bit of reflected light that's warm. So I'm just applying just a tad bit of, of just red colors. So I don't know if you guys see the dog, looks really cute already. He's, no, he's kidding, you guys can't see anything. <laughs> All right. Remember, a ton of mineral spirits here. And the one thing I am doing, I don't know if you've noticed, I am moving my brush stroke in the direction of my dog's drawing. So if the leg is a big, long, straight line here, I'm not doing, you know, horizontal lines when it's much easier for me to be doing vertical lines. So I'm always keeping the my drawing. Always keep your drawing. Don't forget, that's really important, okay? So don't forget, there's a little bit more blue, but I already discussed that. There needs to be a little higher chroma because in a second, we're gonna use a lot of boring grays. And if your picture's already too gray, it's gonna be way too boring. I mean, people are gonna see it and it's gonna be, yeah, that looks nice, but could you have used a little bit more color? And we know that we could have, okay? Okay, so there's the body. And So my little guy is looking pretty good here. I'm gonna make the nose a little longer. And I'm just gonna go ahead and fill this in. So the face is a little too long, but I'm not too concerned about that at this point. I know that in a second I'll be able to trim with some of my um, background color, so remember this is really, this stage is really forgiving, okay? All right, so I have my dog, his head is there, he kind of looks like a duck right now, not, not like a dog, but once I have this, uh, this is perfectly where I want my drawing to be, all right? So I'm just gonna do very minor corrections. So the actual, face should be somewhere around there, 
okay? So now I'm gonna go in with heavier color. Uh, this doesn't really matter. I mean, I don't know if, if we're gonna keep the background of the, there's this kind of like floral background. I don't know if we're gonna keep that, but if we are, we could still change this later. Uh, I just need to use my paper towel a lot. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a lot of heavier contrast on the background. So here I still have a ton of mineral spirits, okay? The only thing is that I have even more paint. So I do have a lot of oil, but I have a lot of color too. I have a lot of mineral spirits. So what I'm gonna do at this point is just kind of trace them properly or contour him a little bit. I'm not too concerned about this little stuff here, but if you guys are, you guys could definitely take it away. You guys could have also done uh, just a very nice and neutral underpainting. Um, there's a lot of options to starting. I'm actually starting with some of the color on the picture. I'm not starting that boring. But you guys, if you guys are a little bit more conservative, you, you guys could have done a gray underpainting. And you guys could go all the way to the end. Like I said, I'm still unsure what I'm gonna do to the background. Just for the practice of texture, I might still do that chair, but for in terms of timing, I might not do that chair, okay? We'll figure that out as we go. The main thing is the beagle. All right. And I'm using my biggest brush. And it's actually not my biggest, I have bigger brushes, but um, the biggest brush that I uh, grab from my set is what I'm using. Most of my adult artists know that this is really forgiving. Some of my younger artists have a hard time understanding that this is gonna be pretty realistic at the end because they wanna see the realism from the beginning. Um, don't get involved by that. Don't, don't, don't let yourself be overwhelmed by wanting to see detail, by the way. Detail is the easiest thing to do and it, it's one of the hardest things to do from the very beginning, okay? Because oil painting takes layers. It's not that oil painting is done after this. I mean, look at how the dog looks. It looks kind of abstract, okay? So oil painting takes some layers. looking shape. And the reason why my painting is dripping is because of all that mineral spirit. And I'm figuring myself, I'm figuring out the drawing as I go along. You guys don't even have to do that if you actually drew them beforehand, okay? Any things that are not complete or good, we could steal. Like I think his legs are a little too short. Use more blue just to get my gray back again. And extend his little legs. 
or his feet, I guess. He's really cute. He has that puppy feel to him, you know, still kind of chubby. So I'm gonna go ahead, you guys, and just extend the brown of the ear out. And there we go. Cute looking guy, all right? He already looks like a beagle. All right, so in this point, what you actually want to be doing is you want to be subtracting the light. So this is where oil painting becomes a very organic medium. I have my paper towel here. You guys could just use a white paper towel. I just find these blue ones are really nice. I actually like to use cotton cloths, okay? But if I don't have a cotton cloth, this thing is really close to a cotton cloth. You could throw it at the, in the trash. It comes in a just like a paper towel roll. But they actually last for a really long time. Like, it's not even going to be... <clears throat> Today is not probably going to be its last day, so um, just keep that in mind, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract my lights, okay? So I'm going to start pulling out some of the lights from this little guy. And something that you guys have to remember is subtract, but don't over subtract, okay? What in the world do I mean by that? So you don't want to subtract the face is actually quite light. It's actually quite white on him. You don't want to subtract to that white intensity because if you guys do, whenever you guys add your white, there's no white color that's not as light as your white to compare to. So the white's actually going to look quite flat. Color is, you always have to compare it to another color, okay? So if we need a white here. We gently need to have a little gray today before we have a white maybe in the next session, okay? I think we're mostly gonna draw today. I'm probably gonna do just like a, like an hour session. We're already kinda quarter of the way done with that hour session. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just uh, block it in. All right, little guy here. And remember, oil painting is super organic, okay? It's a really natural medium. So you guys wanna use your fingers, you guys wanna use your, your paper towels, you know, anything that, that you guys can use, go ahead and use. I mean, it's a really fun and organic medium. So right now I just subtracted the lights on the face, all right? Really abstract. Now, I'm gonna subtract the body part here. All right, we're popular today. But don't forget you guys, we're theoretically closed. That's why we're trying to take those emails instead of those calls. Uh, that way we could actually record in the studio. We don't wanna unhook the phones, so they're still on, but if you guys can, Try to email, because the only time we're actually here is just to record, not to do anything after that. Okay, so I just did his little leg there. And I'm just gonna do the other leg over here. All right.
And I think that looks pretty good. The little guys beginning to come out just by adding big, big, big color. Here would be the time that I would drink a coffee or just go do something else for a bit. But we're actually, uh, I'm waiting for my other class to start. So I'm just gonna begin, okay? Um, so this picture has a ton, it has a ton, you guys, of mineral spirits. So I don't need any more mineral spirits. Even if I don't add any mineral spirits, the color that I apply will pick up the mineral spirit that's on the picture. So I pretty much just need to add pure paint. So if I go back to my palette, two colors, nothing else. These are old, these are from another session. It's just those two colors right there. French Ultramarine, uh, uh, Burn Sienna. Warmer, cooler, that's pretty much it, all right? Um, so if you guys see something that's cooler, just make sure you add more French Ultramarine. If you guys see something that's warmer, just make sure you add, uh, sorry, uh, more Burn Sienna, okay? So I'm gonna work on the face. Uh, and this part is gonna get a little bit of drawing technique, because I did not draw this little guy. Okay, so if I need to fix and adjust, now would be the right time to do so. And this is a very expressive painting, by the way. So I'm just gonna keep my color gently warmer. If I make a mistake, which I don't believe in mistakes, I mean, I believe in things that don't look that good and we have to fix a little bit, but they're not really mistakes, they're part of your drawing process. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and just start drawing a little more, bit more, okay? I'm using flat brushes, you guys, because I like the brush strokes that flat brushes gives, gives you. So that's the only reason, okay? And I, I pretty much love brush strokes. Everybody who's in the studio and knows that I paint, they know I don't like to over-render my pictures. Rendering is really easy. You just have to get another brush and just like go blending happy, okay? So I'm just trying to, I'm, I've been measuring, you guys probably don't see it all the time, but I'm measuring to see uh, how far is the width of the face to the eye in comparison to the head. So this is like halfway, so it looks pretty good. So now, and his face is a little bit at a tilt. That's why I did, I don't know if you guys saw me, I was just doing some angles here, all right? So what I'm gonna do here is just place. And this is not, my perfect color don't forget this is not my perfect drawing this is the organic part of your drawing okay or of your painting sorry not your drawing which painting and drawing at this point okay so there is his eyes that's a reference line i could later just go back with my big brush and just get rid of it just like that all right pretty simple so I'm still gonna make everything warmer, a little warmer before I make it too cool. I don't wanna overcommit to a blue color because then the blue colors are a little harder to get rid of. They're not like hard, they're just a little harder to get rid of as opposed to as if I'm using, let's say, a warmer color, which is what I'm doing right now. These are a little easier to get rid of, okay? So I'm gonna just draw part of my ear here, draw my Eagle's ear there. This guy has a huge ear, okay? I think that's part of his fun characteristics. Like, he has a huge ear. So here, that's the inside of the ear. This is the outside of the ear, but there's actually a fold here. So I'm gonna start by doing just a little dark value, and then I'm just gonna work it out. And here my brush strokes are just moved in the direction of his uh, fur, okay? So I'm moving the brush strokes not randomly. Once I block it, I could block in the area randomly. I could block it in, you know, diagonal, uh, horizontal, vertical. But when I'm, when I'm ready to work some of my colors in, I'm just gonna work them in the direction of his fur just for my brain to believe what I'm doing, okay? Right now my brain might be thinking like, oh, I don't know what this is, you know, is it fur, is it soft skin? We know it's fur because it's a dog, but we gotta, we have to let our brain actually understand that as we move our brush strokes, okay? So here we go. So he has, I think I made his nose a little too small. 
I like the shape of his snout, but it feels long because his nose is small. He actually has a bigger nose. So now I'll be able to render this little bigger nose, which in theory is gonna make this not feel smaller. But remember, not everything is always having to cut, 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 cut. Here, I think my best, my better choice was to extend, okay? On the outside, I do think I have to cut. So on this side, I'm gonna just come in here and pull my brush just a little inside. So it's the same shape. It's just roughly shaved, okay? That's it. So I just kind of gave it a little bit more form, all right? That looks good. I'll subtract just a tad bit from this side. There's a little light right over here, okay? And if I subtract it too much, guess what? I could just come back and reapply. All right. Uh, he also has his ear coming through the other side. So his ear would kind of come through here. And it's just like poking on this corner here. I'm gonna use a little bit more blue just to show it. Okay, that looks pretty good. And um, that looks, I mean, that looks pretty good for my, for my face. At this point, this guy to me is a little too high, so he still needs a little bit of, I guess, dock lip right here. Okay. So I'm also, just like I do many of the times, I try to get rid of many lines. I prefer to make them look like contrasts, okay? Contrasts are more important than lines. All right. So I might have pushed the leg a little too high. It's okay. I'm just gonna make it cooler. And here, I see these really nice horizontal lines on my puppy. So I'm trying to do these kind of horizontal slash diagonal lines. It emphasizes, I guess, his muscle, his um, form structure. Okay. And I'm going to go a little warmer on this side. So he's coming out, he's beginning to get even more form, all right? All right, he has this little paw over here. Right now that's all abstract work. He has these really two nice kind of colors, either warm or, or brown and black. So I'm gonna do my warm here and my black just goes right above that. So more blue. All right, and Again, if you guys need a drawing, it's I'm I'm I'm, repeat, I'm like a broken record now. If you guys need a drawing, 
please do the drawing, okay? Don't don't go straight into the painting like I did. <clears throat> I, I manipulate oil painting very well. I use it very well. That's the reason why I started like this, okay? The only difference, if you guys are unsure of your drawing, is just sketch it first, okay? That's the big, big, big difference. Okay? And for today, I think that's gonna be it. Okay, I'm gonna clean up the background really quickly, but I'm not gonna do much more. I could actually continue to work on this like in five or 10 minutes, maybe more, maybe like 20 minutes, uh, but I don't want to uh, um, start something and not finish because I have to do the other session in a second. So maybe I'll probably do another session of this either on Wednesday or Thursday. Uh, remember, this is just kind of like a, like a fun open session. It's not the, the required ones. And if you guys want to lighten the background, just let's say you guys do want to make that chair. <clears throat> just come with your paper towel and kind of clean this guy off. more of a one and it's more of a two. So this here is for a lighter background. If your dog is pretty light though, and you actually just don't mind doing a dark background, just keep the valley that you guys had before. And I'll try to make it as realistic in terms of color, but maybe more expressive in terms of brush stroke as I can. But you guys, if you guys just want to soften it more and make it more realistic, you guys could do that later, okay? Session one took me 30 minutes. Uh, I thought it was gonna be a little longer, but it's just 30 minutes. Uh, you, you guys could spend a little bit more time than what I did, but this is what you want to see at the beginning, okay? If this takes you an hour, an hour and a half, that's okay, all right? After that, we'll start focusing on different stuff. All right, we're gonna start focusing on gray tones. We're gonna to start focusing on building up values and pretty much wrapping this up. All right, you guys, be safe out there. Uh, video should be up shortly, okay?